Hola, bienvenidos, welcome and welcome back. So maybe you guys have seen this popping up on your feed. So here we have basically a combustible gas leak detector. And uh, actually they reached out to me like a month ago. I just never got back to my emails. I'm kind of bad about that. So finally decided to give it a try. You know, we'll see how well it works. I'm curious to try it. Um, but like I said, you've probably already seen a bunch of other guys uh, testing it out. So it's gonna keep it short and sweet. And yeah, they sent over a few of these. So stay tuned till the end. All right guys, so here we have the top test combustible gas leak detector, the PT199. So auto off after five minutes, low battery indicator, high and low sensitivity, and a visible, visual and audible alert. So they did send out the orange. Uh, you can get it in red and green too. There's different colors. This will be on Amazon. So you guys, if you guys are interested, there's going to be a link in the description. Basically, here's your uh, leak detector. Pretty simple, straightforward. Runs by two batteries that are included in the box. All you do is twist off the end, pop them in, and you have yourself a pen style gas leak detector. So we have one here, two buttons, pretty straightforward. Power it on. So we have a sensitivity button. Uh, 50 to 500 parts per million. Enter the low sensitivity for 500 to 1,000 parts per million. And then you hold the power button to turn it on, tap it to turn it off. Pretty straightforward. When you turn it on, there's a 30 second calibration. And then uh, it lights up, it beeps. So it beeped at me already. Obviously, I have to test it out on some R290. Now, Dave already beat me to it, in case you saw his video. But I had this idea after contemplating if I wanted to review this or not. Uh, this was one of those things where I was like, I don't know if it's going to work that well. But it looks like it does. So I need to go purchase some R290 because I do not keep it in stock. If you guys uh, caught my live, live stream this past week or last week from when this video is coming out, um, that topic actually came up. I've only seen one R290 that I actually got called out to. So this would have been helpful a couple months ago when I had a, a leaking uh, small reach and cooler, but I was able to find it with bubbles, but I had to kind of hose down or spray down everything this would have at least helped me pinpoint it to where I thought it was and then use the bubbles, which in any uh, leak detection method, I would advise something electronic uh, to pinpoint it and then, or to get a general idea of where it is and then using bubbles to verify as your second choice. That way you know where, where you're gonna be spraying the bubbles instead of making a whole mess. That's just my uh, two cents on that. So obviously on R290, if you do read up on it, they don't recommend that you use gas leak detectors. Um, Ryan has a really good video on this too. If you want to go check out his video, he reviewed this on a uh, package unit, I believe, that had gas heating. Now obviously with something that massive of a gas line, you can smell it and he even said though said that that he could smell it so i see this really cool as a uh, method of checking those small self-contained coolers that are like ounces of uh, r290 that you not well not necessarily smell but you can go in there and kind of verify if it's leaking or not um, obviously the one i went to it was icing up at the uh, inlet of the evaporator so i don't remember if it was a txv or a capillary like it, it was a while back I just kind of went in there and uh, 
bubbled it up. It was bubbling on the ends of the evaporator. That's how I found my leak. But this would have been cool just to kind of wave it around and see, hear it and see it go off. And uh, if this works as well as I've seen it, it's really cool because you can kind of stick it in your pocket and have it on you if you need to go grab it, put it in your pocket. If you don't want to grab it, if you deal with a lot of gas, um, gas lines, you can keep this in your tool bag. This would easily fit just inside the tool bag in the middle of it next to some tools, some hand tools. So this is a really neat thing. I'm a sucker for these kind of things because uh, if you guys remember, I have the Kowitz meter that is a pen style. So I have a video on that too if you guys are intrigued on that. Their boxes do remind me of the Kowitz uh, products. So I don't know, maybe they're manufactured by the same people. But I need to go buy some R290s. So let's go to Johnstone real quick. And for science, I need to, to see if this works. Also, I was thinking if you guys are, if your company does kitchen work like mine does, uh, maybe you could use this on the hot side. So I think I'm gonna show it to my dad, see if he wants to use it on some gas lines as far as the cooking side. So like fryers, uh, grills, different things where there's a gas line going in. A lot of times the hoses are messed up, connections are messed up and it's leaking. So he could probably use this just to kind of verify, do some inspections and like maintenance type work where he can check and hey, let them know, hey, this stuff is starting to leak we should replace this or whatever. And it's something you can visibly uh, quickly show a customer too, that it's leaking and dangerous. All right, so we secured the bag at our Johnstone. This is for a different call. Uh, I've had older videos where I have to uh, kind of fix some duct and layout issues because we have cold spots and hot spots in a lot of our restaurants that we service or in one particular franchise and i had somebody or a couple people tell me like oh they're uh, engineered uh those those are designed when they uh make the building and or when they uh occupy the building you know because sometimes it's a plaza and they take over a a suite or something oh it's it's designed it should work it's not that like you have you don't have to be messing with it well the systems weren't run fine and we have restaurants that have hot spots hot kitchens and cold spots like the one we're doing for this is the area is uh, 65 and dropping and they were complaining about water dripping down. It's, it's, I looked in the attic, it's just condensation. So the thermostat is located in the back of the building. It's a small building, but it's located in the back of the building, controlling the back and the front. How is it gonna read the front that is 65 and the back is not even under 72 because I have it set really low, but front's dropping really quick, so. A quick fix is putting a sensor in there, a remote sensor, and then um, this can read the room, the sensor, or an average of the two. And then sometimes we have to relocate vents or close them off or something if it's not supplying or balanced out properly. It happens. And we have our R290. So this is uh, from Ace. They're a brand that I've been seeing pop up at Johnstone. They do coil cleaners and different things. And apparently R290. So let's give that leak detector a test. Well. Well, I guess I should have known better. I thought this was going to be the same fitting that I could use from the uh, the leak seals, the car refrigerant, but it's smaller. I didn't know that. I've never bought R290. You can see that it goes off. Mm 
Let's try to redo that. All right, well, there you go. The proof is in the pudding. You can use this super affordable leak detector for R290, something that we're all gonna have to get on board with. Like I said, um, they don't really, there's something that, that said that they don't advise you to go buy a gas leak detector to detect it, but it's nice to have. It does go off with R290. Verify with bubbles and you'll be good to go. I wish I had this a few months ago, guys, when I could have shown you a leaking uh, coil to see if it picked it up or how well it picked it up. But I think you'll be good. There's a low and high sensitivity, so just play with it. I'm pretty confident in it just because from seeing other guys use it, like I said, Ryan showed a small gas leak uh, that he found with it and it seemed pretty legit. So don't go buy or don't go spend hundreds of dollars on a leak detector when you can pick one up like this. It's off Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. It is $20 regular price. They gave me a discount code for 10% HVACR10. I don't know why companies don't, don't just give me reliable as a code, but uh, they do have a coupon going on right now. It's 15% off. Um, it's on Amazon. You just gotta check off the little mark and you'll get the coupon applied. So go pick one up. Also, like I said, I had a few uh, sent out to me. So if you guys want one for yourself or you need one, Leave a comment that you'd like one. Uh, make sure you like the video and make sure you're subscribed. I'm gonna give one away here and over on my Instagram page. So if you wanna be entered twice, go over to my Instagram. I'll have a post about it too. And I'm gonna give away uh, two of them, one here and one on Instagram. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys.